Hello, it's Alex here, Victor Kilo to Papa Romeo Charlie. Today I've put together a very, very simple and inexpensive project for measuring transmitter output power. By using a simple dummy load and uh, a calculation, we can, uh, we can calculate the power output quite easily. I'll just wait till those parrots go past and stop screaming. <laughs> uh, they've moved away. Okay, so basically what I've done, I've used a, a simple circuit here where we're looking at, um, at the dummy load. And that's my dummy load here. We've got a, a diode here. Um, and in this case, I've used a high voltage diode because the voltage across a dummy load can be quite high with, uh, with high power. And over here, a simple um, multimeter that everybody probably has uh, for measuring the voltage produced across the dummy load. And the simple calculation is voltage squared divided by the resistance of the dummy load, 50, will give us the power output of the trans, uh, transmitter. So let's have a look at our dummy load. Um, this particular dummy load of mine, I made this quite a while ago. It's quite effective. I made it out of um, 21K resistors, 3 watt. And uh, there it is, yeah, works very well. It's quite accurate. So that pops into the tin can there. It, it can withstand quite a lot of power for a short duration. But if I wanted to increase the power of my dummy load, I could simply fill up the tin can with vegetable oil and that would dissipate the heat uh, while I was carrying out the test. So there we go, we've got our terminals from our dummy load and over here I've put together the simple electronic circuit that uh, I've just shown you uh, with, with four terminals. Um, yeah, there it is there, so let's have a bit of a look. We've got our, we've got our uh, high voltage diode and here I've used a diode around about 1200 volts, a bit of a high voltage capacitor as well simple little components, I've just soldered them straight onto the terminals and uh, that will that will be popped onto the box like so and uh, yep, I'll put the screws in that and that'll connect on to the, to the dummy load and just here we'll connect our multimeter and we'll carry out our test to work out the output of, well, the, tr the transmitter that I'm going to use today and that'll be my Klansman 320 and according to the specifications it should put out between about 25 and 30 watts. We'll have a look at that and, and make our calculation. Okay, we're all set up to do our test. So let's just go through what we've got happening here. We've got the, uh, the radio connected to the dummy load. And in this case, we're using a military British Army man pack radio, Klansman 320. The Klansman 320 has an advertised power output on high power of between 25 and 30 watts and on low power approximately 3 watts so we've got that connected I've got the radio set to the uh, the uh, 40 meter band and I've got it set on high power selected CW at the moment okay so we've got our 50 ohm dummy load connected to our a little electronic circuit that we explained a few minutes ago and onto the DC side we've got our multimeter connected and I've got the multimeter on DC on the, uh, the 200 volt scale. So when I hit the transmitter, um, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the voltage across, the DC voltage appearing across, across the load. Okay, let's have a go. So here we go, on high power. 30, 39.8, we'll do it again. 39.4 let's say 39.4 that's close enough 39.4 okay so we'll move over here 39.4 and we've got our our formula the formula to do this is power equals voltage squared divided by the resistance uh, in this case our resistance is our 50 ohm dummy load uh, so let's put in our, our reading that we just got, which was um, 39.4. And let's hit the calculator and see what sort of power output we're getting out of our, our transmitter. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, 39.4. That's close enough. Um, inverse 
squared. Yep, we got a, got a number there, and we just divide that by 50 ohms being the resistance. So the transmit is putting out 31, 31, 31, 31 watts. Okay, so we've got 31 watts coming out. Very good. Uh, looking at the specifications on the radio, between 25 and 30 watts. Very happy with that. 31 watts coming out. So how about we slip over here and we'll we'll change that to low power setting. Of course, the low power setting on the radio um, is advertised at about three watts. So let's have a look and see how we how we go as far as our um, our low power setting. Okay, so again, hitting the transmitter, 11.8 volts. 11. Let's put that into the formula. 11.8 volts. So here we go. 11.8 volts. Uh, inverse square divided by 50 equals 2.7. 2.7 watts. 2.7 watts. Well, there you go. Pretty happy with that. Not only is um, is the radio putting out the specified power, but uh, my little measuring device here is giving me exactly what the specifications of the radio are. So there you go. A very, very simple method for calculating your transmitter output using your 50 ohm dummy load, a few common electronic components, a multimeter, a calculator, and a formula, and yet there you have it.